Hello guys and welcome to another video and today we're gonna be testing the Chinese version of the game which was released recently for the Chinese region. The game is also developed by Tencent, the old Activision partner and in case you don't know Activision was forced to end this partnership somewhere around season 7 because of the issues between the US government and the Chinese government. And thanks to Orange Man the game went downhill since then. It started having glitches. I mean it already had glitches but they became worse and they kept adding more every season. Anyway I'm gonna jump into a game and I'll show you all the changes they made here from the big ones like the self revive to the small ones like the map changes and you will notice that it's slowly transforming into warzone let's get started First of all, they still don't have all the classes, so they only have a total of 7 classes and this class right here is pretty much the zombie class. But instead of zombies, you get to unleash dogs on your enemies, which is pretty cool and better than zombies. And speaking of zombies, there is no butcher in far. I tried to go there, but I didn't find anything. Another small changes are the entrance animation and also the look of the aircraft and again it looks much cooler than the global version. I also noticed that the gliding or flying is the same as global, it feels like the sensitivity is low. Actually it's even lower here, especially when you try to land it's almost impossible to steer left and right. Looking at the map I think they have the same exact areas except for the platform. I didn't manage to find it and I don't think they added it yet. But they did make some changes to the terrain of certain areas like this one right here near the farm and up great terminal in the global version there is a huge mountain but here it's just plain ground the first change i noticed after landing is that the character is still close to the center which is something i mentioned in one of my recent videos in case you haven't seen it they shifted the character to the left which again was a bad decision and many players said that it was supposed to be like this but this is a proof that it's not and it was a mistake by activision and honestly i felt the difference in my movement and aim when i played as it was way smoother Another huge difference in this version you will notice that there are two health bars right here. The blue one is the vest health bar and the white one is the normal health bar. And here's how it works. When you get damaged by the enemy first of all it consumes the blue bar and after it's gone it will start consuming the white bar. So in other words it's like you have 250 HP. Also if you open one of the medic boxes you will notice that it only has armor plates. There are no meds at all in this version. No adrenaline, no first aids, no bandages and not even vests. You can use the armor plates to heal up the blue bar. And as for the white bar, it recovers HP automatically just like multiplayer mode. Then if you look down here, you will see a green bar. That's also another addition in this version. So this bar is added for the safe zone. When you're outside the safe zone, you will get this countdown right here and you get 68 seconds to enter the safe zone. If you fail to do so, you will get knocked right away, even if you had full health. I also noticed that the drop shining is nerfed here, but not as bad as global. You can get up much quicker and it's smoother in general. Another small detail is that there is no blood in this version because as far as I know the Chinese government prevents games from adding blood so they replaced it with this smoke effect and you can change the effect and color as you want from the settings. Now moving on to the biggest addition in this version is the ability to revive yourself when you get knocked. But you will need a self revive kit which can be found in airdrops. And you're only allowed to carry one at a time which makes sense otherwise players will be able to spam it. As you can see here I tried to pick a second one but I couldn't because I already had one. The self revive takes 7 seconds and it also works for solo players. And regarding dog tags it's still the same so if you die your teammates can grab your dog tag and scan it to revive you back to the game. Another small change that I liked is the running animations when you hold an SMG. And again it's the exact same animation from Warzone. This way it's more realistic but you also know what to expect from the enemy when you see them running like this. Moving on to the glitches, this version also has them sadly but so far it's way less. And the biggest glitch which is the jump from vehicle glitch is actually not that bad. I believe they tried to fix it but it's not 100% fixed. As you can see I'm still flying into the air after exiting vehicles but it's for a split second only. Overall it's good to see that they actually care about the glitches and trying to fix them which gives me hope. Regarding graphics I'm not sure if you guys can notice it but it's much better here as it looks more realistic. I don't understand Chinese but I believe I'm playing in high graphics and max FPS and it just looks beautiful and smooth.
Another thing I liked is the sounds. They still have the same sounds as season 12 and you have no idea how good it is to play again with these sounds. I can hear enemies from long distance again and it's easy to distinguish between your teammates and enemies footsteps. Also there are no extra unnecessary sounds at all, you can fully focus on the game. And so far there are no sound glitches, everything works normally like the vehicle sounds and the zipline sounds. Next thing I noticed is the hip fire. If you don't use hip fire much you probably won't notice it. But the hip fire here is insane, especially with the AK117 and it brings back good memories from the days where AK117 was a beast. It felt more stable and I really enjoyed playing with it. I believe I covered everything so far, I know there are leaks of buying stations and other changes but they didn't add them yet. But if they do then I will showcase them in another video because I have an account here. Finally regarding how to join this version of the game, it's pretty complicated but you can search on YouTube and you will find many videos explaining how you can do it. The biggest issue is creating a login account as they require either a WeChat account or QQ account. And I tried to make one and I failed. Then I had to ask for help from my Chinese friend and he was kind enough to allow me to use his personal QQ account to log into the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know down in the comments what you think about these changes especially the self revive and the new health system. Would you like to see them? And implemented in global or not. I'll end this video by sharing my opinion after trying both versions. And it's pretty obvious, the Chinese version is way better. I played around 8 games and during these 8 games the only glitch that I faced was the one I showed you. The graphics looks amazing, the sounds are perfect and overall the gameplay was smooth. And speaking of smooth, the one thing that I forgot to mention is the driving experience. Especially when driving motorbikes, I noticed that the physics are on point. I mean the steering is smooth and jumping down hills felt smooth. And honestly I would have switched to the Chinese version if it wasn't for the ping. It's not really that bad but playing with a ping higher than 80 will put you in a huge disadvantage. I just hope that Activision fixes the global version and follow the steps of Tencent because so far it looks like they will turn this game into one of the best battle royale games in the market. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.